Hi, I'm Becky Ellsburn, the parish nurse at Trinity Lutheran Church. Social distancing can have a big impact on our mental well-being. This can be especially true if you live alone or if you're dealing with a health concern. I've heard of some very creative ways that people have stayed connected with loved ones um, while keeping a safe distance. I've heard of people visiting nursing home residents through a window using a phone or a whiteboard. I've also heard of staff um, teaching nursing home residents how to use FaceTime for the first time um, to connect with their loved ones. So people are doing a great job of trying to keep connected with people um, who they really need to support through this time. One idea that I had was to make a calendar that resembles an advent calendar. Um, that typically marks down the days towards Christmas, opening a box a day um, to read a message or see a picture. So this um, calendar marks down the days of us being together again. So for this project, um, you will need a pile of old Christmas photo cards. And if you're like me, this basket is still sitting in my living room. So it's a great use of those, those pictures. Um, and you will need a manila envelope so you can send your um, love calendar to the person you're sending it to. You also need cardboard and scrapbook paper or construction paper cut to size to fit in the manila envelope. And so you want to cut that all out. And then you want to cut your photos out from your Christmas cards and lay them down, organizing them however you'd like, onto your paper. Once that is complete, take a pencil and you would trace around the photo um, on um, three sides. And when that is all done, all of them are traced, then you're going to take a very sharp um, cutting device and place your paper, of course, on a cutting mat. And then you're going to cut along those pencil lines so that this then window will open up or this door and you'll be able to see the picture that you have put behind um, that door. So once you have cut all of your boxes out, your doors, so that the flap remains though, um, you wanna put your paper down and then you're going to glue the pictures underneath um, the doors. When that is finished, you can take your paper off and all your photos then will be on the cardboard like this. And then you are going to apply glue to the cardboard so that you can then put your paper back on it. To mark the different doors, you can either use stamps, number stamps, or just a marker. And you can number them one to however many um, pictures that you have. And then you might want to put a little note on it um, that just tells them the directions to open a door every day um, to see a family member who loves them. So I hope you take time to make one of these calendars for your loved one, whether it be someone who lives alone or in a care facility, or maybe for a grandchild whom you miss very much during this social distancing. Taking time to be creative is also a boost to your mental well-being. So until next time, peace be with you.